Hi dear students, welcome to our video lesson. Today's main topic is contract law and elements of contract. This is the content. On grammar, today you are going to learn must, mustn't, needn't, and comparatives. On vocabulary, you will get some definitions and uh, information elements of contract. This grammar slide is devoted to modal verb must mustn't. Must is commonly used to express necessity, certainty, and mustn't to express prohibition and strong recommendation. Now, look through the, some examples. You must give up smoking. It's bad for you. It is necessity. Prohibition in negative form. You mustn't use your mobile phone while you are driving. It is prohibition. Personal obligation. You must stay at home. You have high temperature. This slide focuses on comparative adjectives. When we compare two items, we use comparative adjectives. Comparative adjectives divided into four. One syllable adjectives. Long, longer, tall, taller. Two syllable adjectives. Happy, happier. Lazy, lazier. Three or more syllables. Beautiful, more beautiful. Interesting, more interesting. Irregular adjectives. They are good, better, bad, worse. Little, less. Now, dear students, I am going to explain what is a contract and its elements. So, when we talk elements of contract, first we have to understand exactly what is a contract. Contract is a legally binding agreement between two or more people that is enforceable by law. All contracts have several elements in common. Here you see elements of contract. So elements of contract are divided into some. They are agreement, intention, consideration, capacity, consent, legality of form, and legality of purpose. Now let's discuss these elements of contracts one by one. First elements of contracts, agreement. Agreement occurs when an offer has been accepted. Agreement must be clear, complete, and unconditional. Agreement can be writing, for example, purchase of a land or property. Agreement can be oral, for example, at an auction. Agreement can be implied by conduct, for example, at a checkout. Second element of contract is intention. Intention, it is an idea or plan what you are going to do. In order for a contract to take place, there must be a willingness and knowledge. Or both sides, they are entering into the contract. For example, two people arrange to go out for a dinner. If one of doesn't turn up, can the other you? No, there was no intention to form a contract. Consideration means that an exchange of value. One side gives something to another side as a promise. There must be some sort of exchange. It must not reflect the full monetary value of the item, but the must have some measurable value. For example, Sophia buys a car from Alex for 12,000 pounds. Safia gets the car and Alex gets the money. Capacity. Capacity is a mental ability. Capacity of the parties in terms of age and mental ability. Persons entering into contract must have a legal ability to do so. A person must be age of maturity at least 18 years old or older. A person mustn't be under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Company director who is acting ultra-virus means beyond the legal power or authority. 
a person mustn't be bankruptcy. Fifth element is consent. The contract must be made voluntarily free will. Both parties must uh, agree to what is in the contract. This slide focuses on legality of form. This refers to the manner in which contract is drawn up oral in writing or implied by conduct. Following contracts must be in writing, for example, a sale or property, insurance policy, etc. The last element of contract is legality of purpose. It is a requirement that the object or, or reason for the contract must be legal. The contract mustn't break any laws. Legality binding contracts must be for legal transactions. Agreements to commit a crime will not be heard in court. Goodbye. See you soon.